Has it really been seven years? Seven years of Trio of Tonic? Yeah. Uh, I guess it has, yeah. It doesn't feel like that long. <laughs> That's a long time for a band to be together. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. We always base it on, I know how long it is because Bill's son is seven years old and <laughs> we started playing with Bill right around the time that his son was born. Uh -huh. That's a that's a lot of that's a, that's a lot of music under your Yeah, band. it is a lot of music, and I guess we have this will be our fourth album to show for it. So, um, and then there's plenty of material we haven't even recorded. Yeah, we've been playing together for a while. <laughs> how does that feel? I mean, how, how how is it different from from when you started? Well, certainly, you you know the chemistry is built over that period of time, no matter what, and. It's, that's something that you can't really have unless you play with people for a long time, I think. But also the repertoire kind of evolves and the writing changes and hopefully everybody gets better. And yeah. it, I, I think the music has changed a lot. I feel that way about it. Do you have to talk about things less than you used to? Is it more intuitive? Yeah, it was definitely. When we're on stage, I mean... We've been playing long enough that I can just start a song, or we are way more likely to have free improvisation on stage. And yeah, that kind of thing is really nice because the shows can kind of just flow without, you know, stopping and being like, oh, what song are we going to play next or something? You know, it's, we our sets tend to just go and we don't stop very often, don't talk very much. Yeah. So what is this new album about? You wrote most of the songs yourself in where? Um, I wrote, I started the project in Budapest. Um, I, like a year and a half ago, I had an opportunity to spend um, five weeks in Budapest and I just, I rented a piano and focused on uh, writing and, and practicing. And So I wrote a lot of the material there and then when I got back, I was still working on some of it and I had this body of work, it's all kind of, you know, I feel like it's one group of music that I wanted to record all together. And then when we ended up recording it, we added a couple other songs, one of Bill Athens' tunes and mm -hmm. a Nick Drake song as well that we had arranged that kind of, it, those both fit really well with the rest of the material, so. Had you had that kind of concentrated writing experience before that, that to produce a record? Um, I mean, I think that I'd always aspired to do something like that, but, you know, given whatever <laughs> scheduling and stuff, I mean, it's not, you have to really make an effort to, to make something like that happen. So I'd always thought it would be a really cool idea, but I think that was the first time that I really did it and pulled it off and, and really didn't do anything except for work on music for that concentrated time. Did you go to Budapest in order to do that? Well. Is that um, why you were there? Yeah, it was uh, it was a combination of wanting to go spend time with uh, somebody that I was seeing who was there, and then also I had been wanting to do this musical sabbatical, so we I and I had the opportunity to stay there. So, so are the compositions di you know different in some kind of way, or is is there a a a, 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 a are they self-contained? I mean, are they all contained? You know what I mean? In yeah, the same kind of I way? mean, I think that the, one of the main differences with this album is that we are, it's mostly acoustic. So that's, I mean, we did add some like electric, some organ and stuff like that, but the majority of it was all, all written acoustically and with that in mind, and we recorded it acoustically. But I was also kind of thinking a lot about um, different sounds that we could experiment with 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 our with our various instruments including the like acoustic piano so we uh yeah i mean i i feel like i it helps to write like within the same period of time so that you kind of have a flow and um but each song is you know individual and um i yeah so i don't know i and then also, I, I guess I was just, uh, the theme of the album feels mm -hmm. different to me. Like, we weren't really going for anything that was necessarily going to be played in a dance club. We're just, 
going, I, I, I wanted it to just really be true um, from me, and so we, um, I, there's, there's a lot more ballads maybe than what we've done in the past because of that, and it's a bit more, there's a bit more melancholy, it's like, it's a, I feel like the music's a little bit darker and maybe represents, you know, like what was going on with me during that time, but it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with, with how it turned out. And what was the reaction of the other band members when you brought that music back? Well, the interesting thing is we didn't, I didn't introduce it to them right away. Mm -hmm. In fact, I kind of finished it before I even showed any of it. Maybe one of the songs we started playing live, but mm -hmm. mostly we weren't playing that material. And then um, we had an opportunity last January, so like about nine months ago, to, uh, we were on tour in Oakland and a friend of mine who works at a studio down there, an engineer, offered us some studio time and I was like, well maybe this is a good opportunity to record that material. But the guys hadn't necessarily, they were only familiar with one or two of the songs. Really? So we got together like three weeks before and we rehearsed a few times and I, we arranged all of the music and then we recorded it. So we hadn't like had the experience of playing it to death before we actually recorded it. That's so pretty unusual, not, be, not playing it live first, isn't it? Yeah, for us it's really unusual and I really liked it because it, in the studio it was all fresh and much more organic and we didn't, like in the past sometimes you're maybe sick of the material by the time you actually get to recording it and this was totally different than that and it ha I feel like you can hear it has a freshness to it that is, you know, that was definitely the first time we'd ever done that. So are you guys finding out more about these compositions now that you're playing them live? Yeah, I mean we have definitely played them a lot now since that time yeah. uh, but I still enjoy playing all of the material it's and I'm really looking forward to you know uh, playing it for this little release tour that we're doing in the next couple of weeks so. why Nick Drake uh, I just I love Nick Drake yeah. and that song really mm -hmm. speaks to me it also really feels like it fits with the material I was writing and um, it's I mean it's dark as well, but it's also it's a very beautiful song. Way to blue. Well, great. We've been waiting for a new trio, Subtonic Record. <laughs> Good. And I'm glad it's here. Congratulations.